Canadian Bulldog from Wrestling Merchandise and Memories. That's merchandiseandmemories.com. And welcome to another edition of Bulldogs Unboxings. And today I am proud to be unboxing wrestling royalty. Wrestling has more than one royal family, especially when you include the lineage of the great King Harley race. I am super stoked to unbox this one from the WWE Elite, yeah, WWE Elite Greatest Hits uh, collection. Easy for me to say. And, you know, fans will, will remember that this was released in an Elite flashback line, you know, several years ago in relatively small quantities. So most people who really wanted their Harley uh, were not able to get it at the time. And, and the prices on eBay and the, through the secondary market are, you know, not, not particularly great. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that they re-released it and updated it slightly. Uh, very, very excited to, to crack this one open. So we'll just see, it's got the, the illustration of the King on the front and also the same picture here on the side with the Elite Greatest Hits logo. And then you've got the King in all of his royal splendor on the back. And then the other legends that are in this collection. And to date, uh, this is the only one I've, I've chosen from this collection. The only one I really needed, I think. Um, so without further ado, let's unbox the king. So here we have it. King Harley Race out of his box and just looking very regal in his, his crown and his cape. I will say take the crown off for a moment it came when it came out of the package it had all this uh kind of goop on it and uh tape so that it wouldn't stay in the head which is which is good thinking i will say i thought it was going to be very difficult to put the crown back on his head given harley here has a pretty big noggin um but you can you can get it on there uh it's not oh it's it's stable enough i guess um let's take a look at the harley race head scan because I am really really impressed by that this even if you were you know looking for a slightly younger Harley race you've got the basic head here that where you can get that done he looks old and crusty even even from the 1980s uh, but just so intimidating and what have you he comes with this this robe that is uh, plastic as opposed to like a soft goods which I, I is fine I mean you think about how his LJN figure came where he had only half of this, you know, fashioned into a jacket. This is world's better. And it's got the little loop here around his neck. Um, so we're just going to take the, the jacket off, the cape off for a second. And it actually just disconnects. So you don't even have to pull his head out. What you've got here is a phenomenal old school Harley race figure. Yes, he's wearing the purple trunks. But other than that, you can see his, his signature tattoos on him. Uh, you know, very good representation of his physique at the time. Maybe a little too muscular, but not too bad. And then uh, on the back here, he's got the king insignia. He's also got those on the uh, on his boots. And what I really like is that the purple on the boots doesn't necessarily, it's not exactly the same as on his knee pads and on his trunks. It's a little bit faded, which is accurate to the character. So it's a nice touch in that respect. Um, so I really, this, even without the robe, I think this is just a, a phenomenal figure. Um, just so, so well done. Uh, he's a little bit stiff here, which is not, oh, probably because there is some tape tying down his hands. So we'll, we'll just remove that. So I can actually pose the guy, there we go. Tape is out of the way. His arms have full movement. Although he, you know, he's not, he's not like taking like kinds of bumps. Uh, he never was. He was he was always uh, just very measured what he did in the ring. But you you could you could you could change that all up with your own figure photography. Uh, I will say. Um, the other thing that this Harley comes with is a pair of alternate hands, as most of the elite figures do. They're just straight ahead fists, so he can he can uh, punch the living daylights out of somebody, and you know he probably has a very hard, stiff punch. Um, look, I am a, I am amazed with the accuracy of this figure. It really does look like King Harley Race. One of my favorite uh, moments as a child 
was watching the coronation of the King Harley race. I remember watching on a Betamax cassette uh, among the highlights where Bobby Heenan crowned Harley race the King of Wrestling. And now I'm able to recreate it because of this awesome figure. For Bulldogs Unboxings, I'm Canadian Bulldog, and we'll see you next time.